Okay, so this lesson is meant to be a quick introduction to using titles in Final Cut Pro. We will cover creating um, original titles in the future, but th this is mostly about using title templates and how to customize them to what you're looking for. So you, you may have noticed all these little buttons over here on the right. All of these buttons help you guys to access um, functions in Final Cut Pro to change the look and feel of your video. What we're going to start out with today is the title browser, which is the big T. Typically, we'll think of that as text. So if you click on that once, you will notice that you now down at the bottom, you get a, um, a little browser window. And you do have sub subgroups such as build in or build out, a bumper, which would kind of be like the uh, beginning sequence of like, say, for news, uh, credits at the end, lower thirds. You know, you can choose if you want. Otherwise, you can just scroll through and find something you like. Now, what's nice about this, and you m might remember this from Pixelmator, is that if you put your mouse over a title and just slowly move across, you'll get a preview. And you notice that I get a miniature preview in the title browser, but I also get a large preview up in my program window at the top. And that's really nice for pretty much any of these titles. I can get an idea of what they do without having to customize them, without having to spend the time possibly rendering them. I can just get a quick preview. So let's say I want to use, um, we'll just use these clouds, okay, those kind of pop up. So to apply it, make sure you can see in your timeline where you want to put it. I'm going to put this title right here at the end. All you have to do is click, drag, and drop. And that's pretty much it. You now have your title in there. Now you'll notice it comes as a predefined uh, duration. If you want to change the duration of a title, you can always click and drag the very end of it to make it shorter or longer. And notice those numbers right above there. Okay, this shows you what you're adding or taking away. So in this case, I'm now taking away 16, 17 frames. And the total duration is 3 seconds, 7 frames. That is up to you how long you really want it to be. The way these work, though, is the shorter you make it, the faster the animation will happen, if there's animation. The longer you make it, the slower the animation will go. So just as an example, and I'm not going to apply this, but there is one in here, it's called Far, Far Away, is very reminiscent of Star Wars. Well, if I make that really short, it's going to go really fast, and you won't be able to read it. And likewise, if you go way too slow, it's going to be too long and kind of boring. Just keep that in mind as you guys work with duration, um, that it will change the way your title works. Um, from here, what you guys can do, if you know that you really don't want to change much at all, as long as your playhead is over your title so that you can see what's in the frame, you just need to double click like I did and put in what you want. My title will make this very original, obviously. Um, and that gives you guys an idea of what you're doing. When you're done, you guys notice I just clicked on the escape button and now you can move your playhead back and watch your title. So let's go back in the next lesson and we will talk about customizing a little bit more. Until then.